in a cozy attic of an old Victorian house, surrounded by dusty trunks and forgotten treasures, lived a teddy bear named Kronos. He wasn't an ordinary teddy bear. His fur was a swirl of midnight blue and silver, and his eyes sparkled like tiny galaxies. Kronos had a special ability. He could travel through time. One rainy afternoon, a little boy named Oliver discovered Kronos while exploring the attic. As soon as Oliver picked up the bear, he felt a strange tingling sensation. Suddenly, the attic began to spin, and Oliver found himself transported to another time and place. Oliver and Kronos landed in ancient Egypt. The blazing sun beat down on golden sands, and in the distance, Oliver could see the great pyramids being built. Wow! Oliver exclaimed, his eyes wide with wonder. Kronos, did you do this? The teddy bear winked, and to Oliver's amazement, spoke in a gentle, wise voice. Indeed, young Oliver, I am Kronos, the time-traveling teddy bear. I can take you anywhere in history you wish to go, but remember, we must be careful not to change the past. Excited by this incredible adventure, Oliver and Kronos spent the day watching the ancient Egyptians at work. They saw how the massive stone blocks were moved and stacked with incredible precision. Oliver even caught a glimpse of a young Cleopatra playing in the palace gardens. As the sun began to set, Kronos said, It's time for our next adventure, Oliver. Where would you like to go? Oliver thought for a moment. I've always wanted to see real dinosaurs. In the blink of an eye, the Egyptian desert faded away, replaced by a lush prehistoric jungle. Oliver gasped as a long-necked Brachiosaurus walked by, munching on treetops. In the distance, he could hear the roar of a T-Rex. Remember, Oliver, Kronos cautioned, we're here to observe, not interact. We mustn't change anything in the past. Oliver nodded, wide-eyed as he watched a group of velociraptors hunting nearby. It was both thrilling and terrifying to see these creatures he had only read about in books. Their next stop was medieval Europe. Oliver found himself in the midst of a grand castle feast. Knights in shining armor clinked their goblets, while jesters performed acrobatic tricks for the royal court. Oliver even got to witness a real jousting tournament. As they traveled through time, Oliver and Kronos visited many fascinating eras. They saw the first Olympic Games in ancient Greece, watched Leonardo da Vinci paint the Mona Lisa, and even glimpsed the first moon landing. But it wasn't all fun and games. In Victorian London, Oliver saw children his own age working in factories. In World War II, he witnessed the bravery of ordinary people during the Blitz. These experiences made Oliver appreciate how much the world had changed and how fortunate he was. Throughout their adventures, Kronos shared his wisdom with Oliver. History isn't just about big events and famous people, the bear explained. It's about how ordinary people lived, loved, and faced challenges. Every era has its struggles and its triumphs. As they traveled, Oliver began to notice patterns. He saw how inventions in one era led to progress in another, how ideas spread across continents, and how the actions of individuals could change the course of history. During their visit to the Renaissance, Oliver met a young apprentice who reminded him of himself. The boy was struggling to mix paints for his master. Oliver desperately wanted to help, remembering a trick he had learned in art class. But Kronos gently reminded him of the rule about not changing the past. But what if helping him could lead to something amazing? Oliver argued. Kronos shook his head. The future is built on the efforts of those in the past, Oliver. Even struggles and mistakes have their purpose. We must respect the journey of others. Oliver understood, but it made him think about his own place in history. Kronos, he asked, will people in the future look back at my time the way we're looking at the past now? Indeed they will, Oliver, Kronos replied with a twinkle in his eye. Every moment you're living becomes history. The choices you make, the kindness you show, the ideas you have, all of these can shape the future in ways you might not imagine. This realization filled Oliver with a sense of responsibility and excitement. 
he began to see his own time with new eyes. Appreciating the marvels of technology and the progress in human rights that people in the past could only dream of. As their journey neared its end, Kronos had one last surprise for Oliver. Would you like to take a peek into the future? The bear asked. Oliver hesitated. Is it allowed? Kronos chuckled. A glimpse won't hurt, as long as we don't interact or bring back any knowledge that could disrupt the natural flow of progress. In a flash, Oliver found himself in a world he could hardly comprehend. Cars flew through the air, buildings seemed to touch the clouds, and people wore clothes that changed color at will. He saw people of all races and backgrounds working together, and to his amazement, a group of humans stepping onto a spaceship bound for Mars. The future is full of wonders, Kronos said, but remember, it's built on the foundations laid by those who came before. As they returned to Oliver's time, the boy's head was spinning with all he had seen and learned. Back in the dusty attic, Oliver hugged Kronos tightly. Thank you for this amazing adventure, he said. Kronos smiled. The adventure isn't over, Oliver. It's just beginning. Your life, right here and now, is part of the grand story of history. Live it well, learn from the past, and help build a better future. From that day on, Oliver saw the world differently. He paid attention in history class, understanding now that every event was connected to countless others. He treated others with kindness, knowing that small actions could have big consequences. And he dreamed big, inspired by the progress he had witnessed throughout time. As Oliver grew up, he never forgot his adventure with Kronos. He became a historian, sharing the stories of the past with a new generation. Sometimes, when he was alone in his study late at night, he could swear he saw a familiar teddy bear winking at him from the bookshelf. And so, the legacy of Kronos, the time-traveling teddy bear, lived on through Oliver and the countless others he inspired to learn from history and shape a better future.